Okay, a quick demonstration to solder your wires on the bottom of your battery pack. In this case, our wire needs to be 85 millimeters, and it's going to reach from the negative terminal of uh, your middle battery to the positive terminal of your final battery. And so we're going to go <coughs> get your ruler, pinch it at 85, and then go ahead and cut it. Grab a cutter. Find my cutter. Cut it right where you're pinching it. Then we're gonna strip it with this fancy pair of strippers. And in this case, I need about 10 millimeters removed. I need to get that debris out of there and get 10 millimeters from the other side. That debris can stay in there. Okay, now I magically have two wires instead of one, so I'll just grab the one. And I'm gonna uh, basically gently twist that, and then I'm gonna fold it over to almost be a U shape. And when I put this on, uh, we need to stack up the odds in our favor because um, this wire doesn't like to solder very well to uh, the steel pins because the heat can kind of escape in too many directions and it doesn't like to stick very well so <clears throat> make that gentle U shape and then go ahead and apply some rosin in this case it's a rosin flux pen as much as you can make contact with on your wire and on the pin. And that helps your chances of the solder flowing where you want it to go. And then try to pinch that so that you have a clean location of, um, you don't want metal spread out everywhere you want it concentrated, right where you want the, the solder to flow. So you can heat up that region with your iron get the solder to flow in there and then get out of there so you don't melt any plastic. Uh oh, my iron's not heated. There might be a problem. Rolling. Okay, go ahead and heat up the joint and then feed the solder in after you've heated it up a little bit. If the solder doesn't flow, give it a few more seconds to heat, and then try again. And then just flow quite a bit of solder in there, so you don't have loose strands. If you're smart, you'll use a fan, not like me. Okay, a couple comments about this soldering job. Um, the important thing was, up on the top, can you look from the top? Um, there's no gap in between the wire on this part of the U and that part of the U and the contact. It's all filled in with flux, or sorry, with solder. So that's um, probably the most important thing is that you don't have looseness and you put in enough solder. And the downside of that is I was heating it long enough that it started to melt the conductor here and you can see it's partly melted. Um, Right now, uh, that's not going to cause any kind of problem, but it's just be aware you're heating up this whole area. And then the last comment is, um, please note that you don't have almost any extra uh, wire at the end. So the 85 millimeters is a minimum, uh, but this is going to keep it nice and clean. If you don't, if you don't uh, take too much material away, on your first bend then you'll have enough material on the second bend and I'll try to demonstrate here although it might take two hands um, how we can still bend this around here so there you go and that that 85 millimeters is going to be just enough to get a full uh, wire and not have any loose dangling areas <coughs>